Now let us understand the postulates of the molecular orbital theory. In short, it is called as MOT. Molecular orbital theory postulates was proposed by two important scientists, namely Hunt and Nickel. It's a great contribution given by these two scientists in order to understand about the formation of the different types of molecules which could not be explained by the concept of simple hybridization. Now let us get into the details of these postulates of this theory. Namely, initially they tell us that the participating atomic orbitals when they undergo molecule formation will lose their identity. What is the message conveyed by this is when the atoms are participating to form a molecule who in the atom is going to participate for the formation of molecule? Obviously the atomic orbitals. Now these atomic orbitals will have their own nature, will have their own shape, will have their own initial properties. Now as they are combining to form the molecular orbital, that nature of the atomic orbital which was there priorly will be lost during the formation of the molecular orbital. So the newly formed orbital is called by the name as molecular orbital and the molecular orbital shape would not be the same as it was in case of the atomic orbital. So therefore atomic orbitals are losing their individual identity and they form orbitals which are called molecular orbitals. Once these atomic orbitals combine, they are the atomic orbitals of different atoms of course we are talking now with respect to. When these atomic orbitals combine to form the molecular orbital, what happens in the molecular orbitals? Molecular orbitals are now polycentric means they would be having more than one center. That means they would be having more than one nucleus. Why is that molecular orbitals are polycentric or why is that they would be having more number of nucleus for the reason that molecular orbitals in fact are formed by the clubbing of the atomic orbitals. So each atom would be having its own individual nucleus. So when they are combining to form the molecular orbital, no doubt there is a combination of the atomic orbital and a new shape is being developed called molecular orbital. But no change will happen for the nucleus as such. Nucleus will not come out of the atom during the formation of the molecular orbital. So they still will remain. So therefore in the molecule what, how many nucleus we see depends on how many atoms have combined to form the molecular orbital. So definitely in the molecular orbital it will be having more than one nucleus. So therefore they are said to be polycentric. So point number two to remember is molecular orbitals are polycentric. Well, now if they are polycentric then how will they be the electrons which are present in the atomic orbitals now be moving in the molecular orbital. Because earlier when they were atomic orbitals they had only one center and around which they were moving that is understandable. Now when they have formed the molecular orbital where will be these electrons? Very simple. These electrons would be moving under the influence of all the nuclei. Meaning to say is that it does not move under the influence of just only one nucleus but it will be moving under the influence of all the nuclei. So here the point to be registered is they are polycentric. They means molecular orbitals are having many centers and the electrons of the molecular orbitals will be moving under the influence of all the nuclei. Then the third point. The shape of the molecular orbital depends on 
the shape of the combining atomic orbital this is very very important what do we mean by this now if a molecular orbital is supposed to be getting a particular shape or it has got a particular shape what is the reason behind this the reason lies here what is the reason the shape of the molecular orbital formed would be dependent on the shape of the atomic orbital from which they are being formed if the spherical orbitals have combined to form the molecular orbital it will be like a particular shape of that only of the spherical orbital combination only it won't be resembling like that of the one which will be formed by the dumbbell shape of the orbitals say for example if the p orbitals have undergone the combination they are combined to form the orbital then the shape would be very similar to that of the p orbitals but not like that of the s orbital so therefore the point to remember here is if a molecular orbital is having a particular shape what is the reason behind it it is because they are having the particular shape of the atomic orbitals by which they are being formed next how many molecular orbitals will be formed in the process now this fact purely depends on the number of atomic orbitals formed here they go in similarity with the hybrid orbitals like we learned even in the process of hybridization the number of hybrid orbitals formed is equal to number of atomic orbitals in a similar way the number of molecular orbitals formed during the process of molecule formation will be same as the number of atomic orbitals which has participated for the molecule formation so the total number of molecular orbitals if it is say 5 they would be formed by the participation of five atomic orbitals so this we should bear in mind then the molecular orbitals formed by this process of combination of the atomic orbitals are having certain definite amount of energy that is what the scientists are telling that molecular orbitals are quantized quantized means each molecular orbital will be possessing certain amount of energy and therefore the energy possessed by the molecular orbital is referred as quantized like how the atomic orbitals also possessing some amount of energy the product obtained by the combination of the atomic orbitals which we call it as a molecular orbital even they would be having certain definite amount of energy next the filling up of the electrons in these molecular orbitals will be happening as per the aufbau principle hans rule of maximum multiplicity pauli's exclusion principle so on and so forth now again a point of focus here to remember is when a molecular orbital is formed how many electrons can be accommodated only a maximum of two electrons can be accommodated even in a molecular orbital like how in a atomic orbital only two electrons can be accommodated in a similar way even in the molecular orbital also we can accommodate only two electrons that is fixed there is no change in that number but how exactly these two electrons are going to get themselves placed depends on the rules of filling of the atomic orbitals like for filling the atomic orbitals also we have following what is called as aufbau principle pauli's exclusion principle and hans rule of maximum multiplicity in a similar way the same rules holds good for filling up of the molecular orbitals also so these are the important postulates of molecular orbital theory and one should bear in mind in order to understand the formation of homoatomic molecules as per well this case